organization committee, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the chance to speak on this very important topic. Antibiotic resistance is one of the greatest challenges of our times. Since I have only just come into office after a natural election, I will not be able to be, take part in London. But I'm glad to be able to take part in this way instead. I'm positive it will be a successful event with many fruitful discussion, with so many professionals from different sectors gathered together. I will now hand over to my colleague, Pernilla Ivarsson, who will outline the Swedish government position on this very important issue. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, antibiotic bacteria knows no borders. They move between countries, species, food and equipment. We need to work together to avoid antibiotic bacteria resistance by exchanging ideas on best practices when it comes to information to patients, how to organize our healthcare sector, animal husbandry and agricultural practices, as well as other measures that can be taken. Antibiotic resistance is driven by so many factors that single intervention to stop it will have little impact. Therefore, doctors, veterinarians, ecologists and others need to work together to achieve the result we want. Effective antibiotics also for future generations. Antibiotic resistance causes illness and suffering but also large expenses. It has even been acknowledged by the World Economic Forum as a potential risk for the world economy. Something must clearly be done to stop the trend. The European Commission launched in 2011 an action plan with concrete measures against antibiotic resistance. Sweden welcomes this action plan. However, it's utterly important that it's actually turned into action and not stays as words on paper. Sweden will engage to assure that the work is proceeding according to plan. We also foresee proposals from the Commission that will lead to reduced use of antibiotics in food producing animals. And we hope that the Commission will propose restrictions for group treatment of antibiotics as well as stopping the ability of veterinarians to earn money by selling antibiotics. It's our impression that many other EU member states also support this. In Sweden, the situation with resistant bacteria in animals is better than in many other countries, and we have the lowest use of antibiotics of animals in the European Union. This hasn't come without hard work. When we introduced a ban on routine use of antibiotics already in the 1980s, we were forced to learn how to prevent the disease problems that had previously been masked by the antibiotics. Sweden is thus a pioneer in this area, and we want to contribute in to fight against antibiotic resistance with accumulated experience of preventative measures that reduce the need for antibiotics. We want to be a strong driving force in the European Union and internationally for a restrictive use of antibiotics. We have initiated a study in the OECD Committee for Agriculture in order to raise awareness of the differences in the handling of antibiotics between countries and to start discussions on different production systems for sustainable and profitable animal husbandry. It goes without saying that the animal husbandry and agricultural practices should be conducted in a manner that doesn't endanger human health. We need to move away from any routine use of antibiotics that mask poor animal husbandry. No individual, either animal or human, should receive unnecessary antibiotics. Sustainability, animal health and welfare, and food safety are guiding principles 
to Sweden in the rural policy making. We believe that a good level of health among animals also have a positive effect on public health. Healthy animals do not need antibiotics and they are more profitable too. So, to conclude, antibiotic resistance is a top priority for the Swedish government. We believe it is possible to take action and turn the tide. By reducing infection and disease, the need for antibiotics can be reduced and low use prevents antibiotic resistance. In order to achieve progress in this, in this global task, we must all cooperate and contribute. We are all responsible, doctors, veterinarians, farmers, consumers, and policymakers, you and me. Thank you for the attention.